I'm Coyote Peterson, and today I'm working with Steve Croshaw. And he's got with him one very special member of the Weasel family. Get ready to meet the Alaskan Mink. If there's one thing I learned about Alaska while exploring this beautiful state, it's that with every step you take, the wilderness only becomes more vast. As a human, you were small in Alaska, and the grand scale of this wild place really brings you in tune with nature. For me, getting in touch with nature usually means having an encounter with an animal. However, many animals can be difficult to see in the wild, and trying to interact with them can be dangerous. Check that out. Those are grizzly prints right there. Today I am getting the incredible opportunity to work alongside animal expert Steve Kroeschel, who is going to help me get up close with one wily little creature that has been raised in his wildlife sanctuary, the Alaskan mink. Right now, I'm in an enclosure with the Alaskan mink, one of the stealthiest predators in the weasel family. And it's right here in front of me. You wanna come up here? Whoa, get real close to my leg there. You may wonder why I'm barefoot. That's because Steve told me that by being barefoot, it would help me connect with the earth, and in turn, help me connect with the animals. These are little mink games, and I have to be careful because the mink's teeth are unbelievably sharp. They're like little tiny needles. Where'd you go? It's so cool how they are able to just turn around inside their skin, and that's one unique feature of all members of the weasel family. Like if I were to hold that mink by the scruff of its neck, it could completely spin its body. So let's say a predator, like a golden eagle, swoops in and grabs that animal with its talons. The mink can actually wrap its body around and attack the eagle as it is being attacked. That is one incredible defensive maneuver. Where did you go? There you go, is that fun to play with? Biting on my sleeves, biting on my bracelet. And if I was one of her litter mates, this is exactly how she'd be playing. Even adult minks are incredibly playful in the wild. All members of the weasel family love to play. Would you like to go down to the river and have a splash? What do you think? Would that be fun? You lead the way. Ready? Let's go. Steve is incredibly connected to the planet. Part of this connection is his ability to communicate with animals, which he has been doing most of his life. Now, Steve, yeah. I heard you earlier making a noise. Were you talking to this mink? Yeah, yeah. They, they, do that again, do well, that again. They, they make a little chuckling sound when they're happy or during the mating season, which is in March. Okay. And uh, I'm just trying to get him familiar with this area here. He's, now, mink, they just got to bite. They communicate with their, with their mouth. Let me see if I can get down face to face with this Oh, thing. face to face, but... This is one thing that I love about mink is how adorable they are. I see, and they have that little white chin, yeah. just like a wolverine. All wild mink have that, basically. Uh, would you say more likely it's around here? It wants to, to go down and bite your toes. Oh, I, I bet it is does. Is that okay? Can I let it go? Yeah. Well, should we take it over into a natural pool of water well, and see if yeah. it'll splash around? Let's, let's let it start here. Oh, God, well, here it goes. <laughs> Look at how frisky it is. Now, can I try to hold it? No, 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 no. Not now. yet? I can't even hold it now. Oh, gosh. See that? Let's, let's just let it go here. Okay, let's see what happens? Go. Yeah. All right, ready? All right, just let just stay right, stay put. Okay. Just get, get a little, we'll find a little little hole there. Let's see if, if we just if we just don't do anything. Let's see what it will do. I he do. loves this loves this log. Look at that! You are actually calling the mink. You are so brave. It's got it's got just going underneath you there. Well, there's lots of places to move. This is a miniature wolverine in some ways. Sure, absolutely. They're related to the wolverine. And in my opinion, I think next to the wolverine, the mink is the most perfect predator in the weasel yeah. family. Yeah. Their ability to not only go in the water, also their ability to climb. Let me see. Come here. You're okay. You're gonna bite you. It's okay. It's, it's biting you. <laughs> Watch your. You can't hold on to them. You can't. They're so squirmy, and in the length of the body. Let me see. That's about as much time as you can get going face to face with the mink. Just like that, I blow a little air at its face and it's like, did you brush your teeth this morning? And he's like, I'm out of here. Let's see if we can bring it over to the water. Do you think if we put it in the water, it'll kind of splash around Let's... like in the natural environment? Let's try it. That would be awesome. And then we could show you guys just how hydrophobic that coat really is. 
Hey, you want to go into the water? I think so. Here he goes. Let's go. Okay, so what we're doing here, Coyote, is a test. The animal, I say that it's imprinted on me, and this is what I do with a lot of the animals that I have, most of the animals that I have at the Wildlife Center, is that they have freedom. Freedom to go, freedom to come back. Okay. When the relationship is strong, this is a mink, this is its home, this is, uh, you know, kind of an environment. Will it just take off down the river or will it stay with us? Here's the test. Loves water. This is, this is its home. What I'm doing right now is trying to just call the mink in. Once it gets comfortable with me, I have a good feeling, it's going to kind of just buddy up to me and we'll be right here splashing around in the water. Oh, look at that, look at that, he's coming right at me. Calling in, calling in. Whoop, just like that, you see that? That was an awesome shot. Ran right past the girlfriend. Where are you going? You're developing a relationship, Coyote, with this semi-aquatic animal. Yeah, he's getting pretty comfortable with me now. Look at that. Right on my hand, just rolling around. Oh, splashing, look at that. Look how he's just able to, there's no water actually staying on his fur. Get it. I think it actually likes my bracelet. Look at that, you see the water just flicking off of the mink's coat? How awesome is this? Laying on a riverbed, splashing around with a little mink. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. I'm always excited to see a mink, and over the course of my life, I have been lucky enough to catch glimpses of them in the wild. They are incredibly elusive, so to spend a morning getting up close with one was an interaction that I've always dreamed of. If you thought this mink was full of energy, make sure to go back and watch our episode about the short-tailed weasel. Getting that little guy close to the camera was next to impossible. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.